In April of 2022, Tesla stopped supplying the granny cables. That's the cable you can use on a three pin socket to charge an EV that most manufacturers supply. It's commonly known as a granny cable. It's as slow as your granny. I am a grandparent, so uh, hello Josiah and Georgie. Um, you can use it to your grandparents if they haven't got a proper EV home charger. Now, Tesla haven't got one because they, from their stats and their info they had from all their cars, they realised the amount of times they were being used was so minuscule, it wasn't worth popping them in cars to save costs and obviously the environment as well, which I fully support. And I think other, uh, other companies have done the same. iPhone, for instance, I've read on the, on the net, they stopped supplying um, chargers years ago because everyone's got a plethora of chargers in their drawers. Uh, same as the Samsung phone we had. We've already got a charger. So that's the way it's going when it comes to chargers. But we're going to France, we're going to Spain in a couple of weeks in the Tesla. And I want backup. I want the option of being able to charge from a domestic socket should I need to. Now, a lot of people mistakenly think you've got to get a branded EVSE, um, original domestic charging equipment for the Tesla or for the Kia. And I'm here to tell you that the granny cables are all interchangeable. So basically the language, the protocol, the communication that's in this box just beneath the three pin plug is universal. All EVs that take the type two connection um, just communicate the same way. So rather than me spending, I think it's 180 pounds on a proper domestic Tesla granny cable, I'm gonna use the one out the Kia. The Kia is gonna stay here for the best part of two or three months. So I'm gonna take this, but the question is, a lot of people are gonna be saying, ooh, you can't use a Kia product in a Tesla. Let's see if that's the case. So basically, plug it in. I've got a waterproof socket here. Turn it on. And then on the back, there's a little button on the back of the Kia one. So I'm gonna put my finger on that button and press it. And as you can probably see, you press and hold, it goes to uh, six amps, eight amps, 10 amps. So you can alter the amount of ampage depending on how fast you want to charge it. And of course, depending on what the feed is like from the domestic supply. So I'm gonna switch it to 10 amps and plug the car in and see what the tester says. So let's plug it in. And let's also test it on six amps as well. Yeah, there you go, at six amps. It's going to take over 24 hours. So there you have it. I hope that gives you the confidence that you can use any branded granny cable to charge your Tesla. So this will go in the front, along with my other cable, ready for our road trip.